Aloha, everybody. This is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap Let Light Unite on UPR and Radio. And this is June 28th. Yep. Still. 2019. And tonight we're going to do some energy work. Um, I think you should notice, but the United States government, and I'm just going to talk about them. Um, you know, they're Nazis, and what they're doing to children is so unconscionable. I mean, talk about evil. You know, to have four, just, just to have it to begin with, okay, is evil. To have child concentration camps. But to go one step further and figure out how to make money from it. Now, of course... You know, nobody's trying to get these kids back together with their parents because these for-profit corporations are getting $750 a day for each kid per day. And then they can't, they go and fight because they don't want to give these kids toothbrushes or soap or clean water, or decent food. That is just to me pure evil. And who in the world okayed this company on a no bid contract and said, oh, we're going to give you $750 a day. Now, I just read somewhere that to stay in one of Trump's hotels, you can stay there for, in a room, which, of course, I would not ever. But for $749, you can have them in a luxury freaking hotel. And now... They demanded more money because they didn't have enough money to take care of these kids? Excuse me. What the fuck? So we're going to do energy work tonight. Um, we're going to start off with um, all the kids all over the planet, of course. But then definitely direct some of it at those kids that are in concentration camps. And then we're going to do um, energy work directed at ICE and CPS and the Border Patrol and immigration agents and all that are responsible for running these camps. I mean, God, to me, it is so, how can these people run these camps and ignore those children and make them sleep on the floor, on cement, and not give them enough food, not take care of them or wash them. Ignore them. I mean, that takes a certain psychotic person to do that. What, do they get bonuses now if children die? Because many children have died. Now, I want to know, please, where in the hell is this federal judge that told and demanded that Trump and company bring all these families and the children back together? Where is he? Why isn't there? Warrants out for the arrest for Trump and all of those that are responsible for this, starting with Trump. Where are the warrants out for their arrest for ignoring the judge? Is this federal judge now compromised? I mean, my God. Trump certainly is a mob boss, and now he's his best buds. Of course, we've already known this with Putin. And I love you, Jimmy Carter. President Jimmy Carter came out and said, if Russian interfered with our elections, which he felt they did, because they were proven they did, 
that Trump is an illegitimate president, which means Hillary won. If it wasn't for the Russians, Trump wouldn't be up there. And he needs not only not not just to be impeached for God's sake, to simply be removed because he is an illegitimate president. But you got Republicans up there, which are just as complicit. I mean, God, you can't write this crap. And they have to stick behind Trump because if Trump goes down, they go down. No. If Trump goes down, we're going to have a better world. Of course, Pence has got to go down with them. And then we get to Miss Pelosi. And yes, I'm ranting and raving. I really got to let this out. It's really bugging me. If kids in concentration camps aren't affecting your soul, then you aren't paying attention and you're not being very human. If you have no empathy towards these kids, Look at your kids. What if they were put in this concentration camp? Because you're white. Reverse roles. And separated. And nobody told you where your kids were. How would you friggin' feel? Doesn't matter what your skin color is. It's evil. You don't do this. And they're doing it for money because they get paid $750 per child per day. So why should they be encouraged to reunite the kids with their families? Because then they will lose money. So now they stuff these kids into, into cages. And I have to honor the people at Wayfair, the workers. They're walking out on Wayfair because Wayfair is one of the companies who says they're supplying the government now with beds for the concentration camps. So I'm telling you out there, if you got anything ordered from Wayfair, boycott them. Send it back and tell them why. This is all about money and they don't want to lose money. So if you've ordered anything from them, I urge you, especially if it's current, send it back. Tell them why. If you've got something ordered and hasn't been come to you, cancel it. Hit them in their pocketbook. And start boycotting everything Trump has, all his golf courses. And if you live near one of these, go out on the street and boycott, for God's sake. Get your signs. Get a bullhorn. Make noise for these kids. Find out where the darn Republican, the senators, and the Democrats live. Go get a bullhorn. If you see them in restaurants for goodness sake, walk up and tell them what you think. Do it nicely and with a smile. But don't let them able to sit there and eat knowing those kids are going hungry and they're sleeping on floors and they're ignoring them and allowing it to happen. Especially the people from the Congress, the Senate, And Ms. Pelosi, why are you not impeaching Trump? Are you compromised? What do they have on you? Because all of a sudden you're like, nope, 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 can't do it. Nope, got gonna. Why? Is it because you come from a mob family yourself? Your daddy was very close to the mob. Go Google it, guys. You know, look up this information. This is what she grew up with, the mob. Now, does that have anything to do? And I'm just asking, does it have anything to do with her deciding not to move forward on impeachment? And we're talking Nancy Pelosi is one hell of a wealthy woman. You know, being in Congress is certainly not her, her pocketbooks. And actually, most of the senators and the Congress people in there have gotten pretty wealthy. 
But okay, I mean, I can go on and on. I'm on a roll. I'm really upset about these children being in concentration camps. And when people bring things to them, simple soap, toothbrushes, maybe a few toys, it's being refused. They won't take it. The guards won't take it. Okay, so, all right, sorry guys. Again, had to let that out. So we're gonna start with um, energy work for the children and then we're gonna work on ICE and CPS. And um, the Republican Party and unenlightened Democrats. And if we have um, extra time, Miller, Trump and McConnell, because man, we're talking evil Nazis. Um, before we get into this, I want you to remind you that July 2nd, we're doing uh, the big event, Quantum Leaping the World into Enlightenment. I will be on radio. It will be 5 o'clock Central Time, 6 o'clock Eastern Time. For one hour, we're going to chant, May Divine Enlightenment descend on everyone now. May Divine Enlightenment awaken within everyone now. And we tweak it, of course, so you don't chant that for the whole hour. But we really call divine enlightenment down and anchor it to the planet. Got crystals. Make sure you got crystals that day. We got a group. Get a group together. Let's make this big. We really need to anchor more light to the planet and shift what is going on. And I, in my mind's eye, see this a huge quantum leap. And please do, too. I'm also going to be doing it live on Facebook. And my producer has been wonderful and kind enough to say he'll pull me on through the radio. So I'll be on both. So let's make this something big. The more, the merrier. Make sure you got water, your crystals to amplify your work. And if you got the stone hematite to help your ground, that's awesome. That's good to have too for after the work. All right, let's get going. So for those that are going to participate, I want you to sit down, put your feet flat on the floor, put your hands up like you're going to receive, and take some gentle deep breaths. I want you to breathe in light and exhale out everything that no longer serves you and imagine all that unwanted energy going through the violet flame back to God. You fill up with your divine essence. Now feel yourself reconnecting to the creator and feel that really high energy come pouring into your body, going all the way down your legs, out your feet, down your arms, out your hands, down your spine. And just allow that energy to come in. And while you're doing that, imagine we're in this huge circle and around everyone that's participating, I'm gonna surround us in a bubble of golden flame and add to that the blue flame of protection, the violet flame of transportation, the green flame of healing, and I'm going to seal us in the pink flame of love. And I'm going to call in all the teachers, guides, masters, and all the angels that work with us, invite them in to amplify our energy even more so, and all the rocks, crystal stones, amplifier, um, energy work over 100,000 fold. So imagine in the center, there's a big earth keeper, and we're going to do a bubble of light. And in this first bubble of light, we're going to put in all the children on the planet, especially all the kids that are in concentration camps. So we also call the higher selves of all children worldwide and ask for permission to do this work for them. In the name of the presence of God, which I am, through the magnetic power of the sacred fire vested in me, I command. Call the higher selves of all doctors, birth nurses, and all those who help with the birth of the babies. I command that you allow more love to come in at the time of birth. I ask that the doctors allow the baby and the mother time to bond in a positive way. I call the higher selves of everyone who was born in a hospital or any unloving environment. I command that as we speak, a divine bond of divine love flow between you and your birth mother and father or you and your adopted parents. As this flow of love sends special healing, bringing your family and all families on earth closer. See divine love flow with all past and present and future birthings. That C-sections be avoided whenever possible. 
preferring women to have gentle, loving, sacred, and natural births. But doctors become more conscious when cutting the umbilical cord, waiting until it stops pulsing again, let, letting the baby and mother have bonding time. We see love flowing from the father's heart, from the baby to the mother, creating a beautiful functional family bond. If the baby, of course, is adopted, you know, let this love bonding be done with the adopted parent or parents. We ask the, the creator that all children be put under protective light, especially those that are in um, the concentration camps, our southern border in the United States. We ask that all children be put under protective light to prevent abuse, neglect, or innocent harm, including war, alien abduction, terrorism, pornography, prostitution, Satanism, hatred, and slavery. This includes ICPS, Trump, the Border Patrol, immigration, Miller, Nazis, and all racists. I now call on the higher selves of everyone who's thinking of acting and harming a child, including all personnel, that has anything to do with child concentration camps. And I command that your higher selves take you into the light. And if you choose not to, which is your free will, we ask your higher self to place you in a position of harmlessness before you can fulfill your deeds. I ask the matter of the healing rate to minister all these misguided light beings and their victims. I call the goddess of truth to expose all pedophile satanic pornography child soldiers and children's slavery groups as well as protect the people that are bringing this knowledge to the surface. See these child concentration camps shut down and those responsible for any abuse being removed from their jobs, prosecuted and do prison time. This includes Trump, all his staff, Nikki Haley, Stephen Miller, Mitch McConnell, along with all complicit politicians. And again, all those that are in CPS, the Border Patrol, immigration, and those who are responsible for the concentration camps. We call on Goddess's truth. And we want these prison for profit corporations going out of business as well as everyone boycotting them showing up in front of them and protesting and see their contracts being canceled and all those children being reunited with their families. As these children are set free, see them being returned to their parents and given all the love, mental, emotional healing support that they need as they're integrated back into society. See villages and good loving homes open their hearts and homes to these children. For children needing parents, we command that the adoption process be speeded up so parents of light, good caring people can adopt quickly. We ask the divine to cancel clear all dark blocks and veils placed over all these children in the concentration camp, replaced with joy and self-worth as they awaken to their divine mission and purposes. Let those around them see all the children's gifts of music, art, song and be able to guide them down that path when they get back to their families. Call the higher selves of all children and ask that they be filled with lots of creativity and imagination, as well as many joyful ways to express these gifts and talents. See all children hugging and being kind to each other. Call the higher selves of all teenagers and ask Michael the Archangel to come and cut ties to all military satanic video games. We ask that the teens are reconnected to the creator, become awakened spiritual beings, and stop playing the games of war. Let this be replaced with sports, music, art, reading, college, etc. Call the higher selves of all parents to also awaken and reconnect to the creator with a greater understanding of how important it is to give their children quality time and see functional families forming. Call the higher selves of military recruiters to leave our children alone, not be able to lie to them about military life. See all these recruiters in their workplaces, along with all recruitment written by pro with propaganda material, become invisible so they're no longer seen by anyone, including the kids. 
See how military recruitment office is empty and no longer allowed on any middle or high school campuses. Let these teens be inspired on other paths other than military. We ask that teachers and educational system focus on the development of character traits which are needed to bring in the golden age and that these traits are taught by way of example and practice. Imagine schools being used to promote and nurture all children's self-esteem and creative expression and that all children realize that happiness and joy are their birthright. We ask that all students are encouraged in their studies of all subjects, regardless of their gender, race, learning, or physical disabilities. I command that all teachers who challenge or destroy a child's belief in self be immediately shown the air of their ways and that their higher selves bring them forward into the light and that they choose to not step forward, that they're put in positions of harmlessness, they're removed from their positions, and we call for a change in the makeup of the faculty and staff of all schools so that all persons employed are light workers. Call for a change in the curriculums of schools to also include the development of each child's natural abilities as a primary and that right brain intuitive abilities and skills be given equal, equal coverage. I call for the activation of the law of divine abundance to provide all schools with enough funds to hire and maintain the most qualified and passionate teachers, nurses, psychologists, social workers, and guidance counselors, as well as enough money and classes in art, music, theater, poetry, extracurricular activities, and sports. I command that the most current textbooks and other learning materials be provided to all students and a college education is provided for all who desire a higher education. We ask that all children be provided, especially in the concentration camps, nutritious, balanced breakfast and lunch, and for everyone else, no charge to the student or family. We see Betsy DeVos being removed from her government, government position overlooking schools. If it's for her highest good that her karma is returned to her, what evil she has done with children, I step aside as it's return. We ask the creator when it's for their highest good that all children who are homeless or runaways without shelter be provided a shelter that is safe and clean now. And call the higher selves of all those homeless children. And I ask that your higher self gently open and balance all your your chakras leaving you open to the abundance and generosity that is inherent in the universe then instill in you the desire to stand up be productive and find your path we ask again for the immediate emancipation of all children that are in prison concentration camps who are not being held for societies or their own highest good including anyone who has been in prison for speaking or living the truth or trying to awaken humankind to injustices, those in prison to fulfill the self-serving plans of others like Trump and, and his crew, those whose sentences far outweigh the magnitude of their crime, and those falsely imprisoned, like the kids in the concentration camps, or convicted for crimes they did not commit, like those children in the concentration camps at the southern border or anywhere that they're also held. In all victimless marijuana crimes. We ask that all prison officials, ICE, CPS, Border Patrol, guards, wardens, police, probation officers, juvenile authorities, judges, lawyers, prison for profit corporation, to now step into the light allowing compassion, kindness, divine service to come to the surface. If not, I command their higher selves and the angels to put them in a position of harmlessness, letting a light worker come forward and take control. Let all veils of protection be around from those beings so all can be seen and justice step in. I ask that everyone be divinely inspired to alternative positive methods and how to help children in prison. 
and the concentration camps be productive society members after their release. We call the goddess of truth into vaccinations and how harmful they are. Call the higher selves of all scientists, doctors, and all healthcare providers to come forward in the light of God. Be truthful about vaccination and their effects. If you choose not to, you're put in the position of harmlessness. We send healing to all children who have been harmed by vaccinations. Let alternatives to vaccine be brought out immediately. We ask that the parents have courage to not give their child vaccine, become aware of shot waiver forms at school and use them. Now we're going to fill our children's hearts and those of the kids in the concentration camps with divine inspiration, divine love, wisdom, hope, creativity, peace, and healing and strength to go forward in positive, enlightened quantum leaps. Now we're going to call to the guardian angels of all those children that are being hurt or harmed and those who are in concentration camps and ask that you hold them in your wings. Let them feel this as a warmth and comfort and give them divine inspiration. And hope knowing that this is going to end and it is ending as we put this into motion. Remove all blocks, all dark energy overlays of magic that's around anyone in the Congress or the Senate that is behind these concentration camps or just keeping their mouth shut because they're afraid to speak out for these children. Remove those blocks, remove the overlays and see these people coming out, speaking their truth. See those camps being closed down and all those children being reunited with their parents now. Around all of them, we're gonna surround them in a bubble of violet flame to help cleanse them cleanse their energy. We're going to surround them in angel light and let angel light heal them, body, mind, and soul. And now wrap them in the divine light. And now we're going to wrap them in their angel wings, their guardian angel's wings. All right, fill this up with light and love. And we're going to take a deep breath and release it. And we give thanks for this opportunity to serve. Now we're going to create another bubble of light. In this bubble of light, we're going to put Oops, ICE, CPS, Border Patrol, Immigration, all the agents and all who run the child concentration camps. Let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. Call the higher selves of all ICE, CPS, Border Patrol, Immigration agents and all who run child concentration camps who have any intent of hurting or harming any child in custody or concentration camps anywhere on the planet, asking for permission to help those law enforcement individuals to reconnect to the creator, becoming enlightened beings at one and at peace with all humans, all children, all life forms on the planet Earth. We see all dark, etheric astral beings that have overlays on any of the ICPS Border Patrol immigration agents and all who run child concentration camps, including Trump and Miller and Nikki Haley. Anything that's keeping them from connecting to the creator be removed from there now. See these dark astral beings tied and bound and send them through the violet flame to clean up their energies. We now send them back to the creator, filling that space up with a being of divine light. As these agents have this unwanted energy removed from them, we see them begin to reconnect to the creator. Their hearts are now unblocking. So they start having feelings and emotions that are in kinder in nature, hearts filled with compassion. We now see the reptilian part of their brain begin to shut down, disconnecting them from all the satanic rituals that bound them together, resulting in the God brain being activated. Any ICPS Border Patrol immigration agents and all who run child concentration camps, including those that I've 
spoken of who's okayed this, including Trump. And those are the Republicans and the Democrats who are ignoring it. And those that choose not to evolve in the light, we command their higher selves and guardian angels, put them in positions of harmlessness. Now see them being removed from, the, from their positions and replaced with no one as the camps are closed and these children are returned to their um, parents, their families. And for those beings, the ICE and Border Patrol, CPS. I'm going to ask their higher self, if it's for their highest good, that when they go to sleep at night, they have nightmares of these children. And when they wake up, let them either quit their jobs or start treating these children with kindness, compassion, and find their parents so they get out of there. We see all protective overlays around these officials being removed, and that they are responsible for child neglect, child abuse, child kidnapping of any kind. Let them be brought to justice with prison time for their actions. And this includes those that created these programs against immigrants, again, including Trump, all his staff, Nikki Haley, Stephen Miller, Mitch McConnell, all complicit politicians who have chosen to have a blind eye to child concentration camps. And those for profit prison companies now, see how funding for all that equipment and more troops were cut from them and redirected back into these immigrant children and their families so they can reunite and have some peace. See those responsible for child concentration camps being sent to prison with all children again being returned to their correct families. And those that have been placed through Nance, Betsy DeVos's um, adoption agencies, may those parents contact the ACLU saying they have an infant and they want to find its true parents. Let all these children be returned. And those that have disappeared, let it be brought up to the surface where they are and in ways where they can be found and brought back and brought and reunited with their parents. All right, fill that up with light and love and then take a deep breath and release it. And give thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, we're going to do another bubble of light and we're going to put in all the Republic racist party and unenlightened Democrats in this bubble. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power of sacred fire vest me, I command all Michael the Archangel to cut all ties that the Republican Party and unenlightened Democrats have to any satanic black magic that is keeping them in power. Cut all ties to all their money sources, including the Koch brothers, Mercer family, who send this money energy back to God to clean it up. Now let's send all that money sources back to the poor and those that are standing up to the Republicans, including all recall groups. We ask that these groups receive lots of donations and excited fresh volunteers to make the recall successful, replacing the Republican Party, the racist and unenlightened Democrats along with Trump and all his cabinet with a compassionate, kind, awakened spiritual being. We remove all the energy veils that around all the people living in the United States. They're be keeping them from connecting to the creator so they become awakened spiritual beings. As they reconnect to the creator, see them becoming conscious beings, seeing truth through all the lies and deception as transparency is manifested. 
See, the mass is filled with all kinds of divine inspiration and how to remove the Republicans, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats from office. Through your political channels, holding special elections, to remove them from office, or replacing them with a human light being, light worker, filled with compassion for all life forms. We see those people just retiring because they want to be with their families. We see all Republicans, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats being recalled and removed from office now. We see the Republicans, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats being recalled and removed from office now. We see the Republicans, the white racists, and unenlightened Democrats being recalled and removed from office now. Called Ganesha to put many obstacles in the way of all Republicans and white racists that want to create and implement programs that are not good for the earth nor any life form. Programs that are intended to hurt and harm the poor. See them all falling apart. As people awaken, see them going to their representatives, whether it's Republicans or Democrats, speaking their minds of discontent with all their agendas. As the Republicans and unenlightened Democrats awaken, see them connecting to the creator that now allows them to see the horror of what they're trying to do and then being inspired how to correct it with compassion, love of service for others and see them now again funding all social programs, Meals on Wheels, including all women's health care centers. We cut all ties to all fear of women and the obsessive need to control them. I call the higher selves of all the Republicans to step forward into the light, cut all the ties of Michael the Archangel and Shiva to unbalance fear of women, abortion, obsession, patriarchy, genocide, rape, pillage, plunder, incest, greed, power, gladiator mentality, military, war, might is right mentality from their energy field cells, atoms, molecules, all the way down to their DNA going through all their incarnations. As this energy is released, take all the violet flame through them and all their works that are misdirected. Cut all ties to all black art and negative ceremonies that are being done and any will to manipulate the humanity and earth for greed, profit, and power. As it's released, we call divine male-female consciousness to their hearts that will flow to the reptilian part of their brain. We cut all ties to all executive orders that Trump has written and retained in the office of the Great Seal. We violet flame them to clean their energies up. Now we connect all those orders to the Creator and command them to be neutral. No more forward movement. All black magic giving any of his executive orders energy. See them being canceled, cleared, and neutralized. We now see all Trump's executive orders being rolled back and stricken from the books. We cut all ties to Trump, Steve Miller, Steve Bannon, along with any complicit Republican or unenlightened Democrat or Putin or Nazis in their vision of reinventing the USA to making it totally white. We see this energy having all forward movements stopped, also dissolving completely. See all their Nazi rush, Russian plans falling apart. We can't clear Trump and the Republicans' new tax bill, which is just a tax benefit for the rich. We see this energy being repealed and replaced with a tax from 2018. We call the higher selves of all Republicans and the Democrats' constituents and ask that they email phone, appear in person at their office, and voice their displeasure with their actions, making it clear that the Congress and Senate must repeal this bad bill or they will also be removed from office and close the concentration camps down. Call the higher self of Trump and all Republicans trying to keep him in power to step forward in the light of God, stop acting like Nazi Russian reptilians leaving all the social programs and citizens' rights intact, a robot back all laws that hurts the mass general public, and if you choose not to, which is your free will, we ask your higher selves and guardian angels to put them all in positions of harmlessness, letting awakened spiritual beings take their place. And if that means they're recalled, then may the recalls gain lots of forward movement now. 
Call by yourselves about law enforcement, false who reconnect to the creator. And as they become awakened spiritual beings, they see through Trump's plans and choose not to cooperate, siding with the people. Let them become more conscious of all the income and benefits the government has taken from them, choosing to become the protector of the poor, standing down on all orders that are against the Constitution. We cut all addiction ties that Trump and the Republican Party and unenlightened Democrats have to greed, money, gold, and power. Cut all addictive ties Trump has for greed, adoration, power, money, and the drive to become a dictator. Cancel clear, cancel clear, cancel clear. We see Trump's taxes coming out now, and we see Mueller's point, Miller's point coming out in its entirety. Now, if it's for Trump's and the Republicans' highest good that their karma is returned to them now for their actions against women, the poor, and the planet, and child concentration camps, then let it be done, which may include all loss of money, all supporters of any kind, and all power. Let the magic of protection be removed from around them and their plans now. If it's for Trump's highest good and for the good of everyone in the USA and the world, let him be tried for treason. Be sent to prison for all his crimes against the people of the world. We see Trump, his family, and cabinet doing jail time for their treasonous actions. We see them all being removed from office in a way no one will be hurt or harmed, replaced with a compassionate humanitarian. Now let's send energy out to all the enlightened Democrats and awakened Republicans, standing up for the earth, all life forms, Children in concentration camps, may they be sent everything they need to be successful. All right, fill that up with light and love, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. <coughs> we give thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, we're going to close um, the circle. So we're going to do three ohms. And you can own with me, okay? Ready? Um, oh, oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. So be it, Sairam. Namaste. But nevertheless, not our will, but thy will be done. So thank you guys for tuning in and doing this energy work with me. We just don't have enough time to, to finish and put in everything I want to, but we got a lot of it in. Remember Tuesday, if you haven't written down on your calendars, do it now. For one hour, five o'clock central time, six o'clock Pacific time, we're going to do chanting and call down divine enlightenment and anchor it to the earth and the planet for one hour. So let's make this a really big quantum leap. And if you want a copy, I will post it on the UPRN radio and, of course, on my Facebook page and the UPRN radio Facebook page. So you can pull it off and, and read it with me. Uh, I know you don't have a lot of time, but for those of you that are looking for a reason to come to Hawaii, I have a small store. So come on down, come do some chanting, and then after, you can go swim in the ocean, and it's incredible. I've uh, put up some new... Um, ocean pictures on my Facebook page for those that uh, uh, need an ocean fix. So my story is in Honoka'a, Hawaii, and that's on the big island on the north side. I also do free um, pain and stress release, free um, mini massages with my angelite tools, and you can lay on my angelite bed and hug my earth keepers. Um, Let's see what else. Hmm. 
Uh, oh, yeah, I do. Um, shamanic soul retrieval, who's, for those who want to go deeper. And if you can't make it to Hawaii, I also do it by phone or Skype. And um, yeah, what else? Oh, well, if you don't have time for any of that, you can also go to my YouTube channel at Kathy Bilski, and I'm on YouTube. And, you know, become a, a subscriber. All my shows are up there, and then I put my dolphin videos, and if I do extra energy work, that goes on there. And it's also, um, don't forget, UPRN Radio has also a YouTube channel, so subscribe to them. It's a two for, twofer. And I just appreciate you guys so much for tuning in and giving this energy and helping the world. We are making a difference. You know, it's, it's very exciting. You know, we are living in exciting times. And when we all come together, magic happens. More people that come together and really put intent into it. So, you know, if you got a crystal, make sure you got your crystal for Tuesday. And a bottle of water, because when we chant, we're using the power of the spoken word and we're saying things out loud. So if you find that I'm putting in um, a lot of feeling and a lot of intent into what I do, well, I am. So I figure if I got to do it, I might as well do the best I can and put the most into it so it'll manifest. Instead of going, all right, now we're going to do this. And of course, that puts energy and I wanted to do this. No. I mean, spirit had me go to sales before I really gravitated into this field. But I was taught that when you do your work, you have to do your work, especially your energy work. Like, it's the first time anybody's ever heard of. So when I do my curse removal or my soul retrieval, that's what I do. And when I do my radio shows, I act like this is the first time you may have heard this. Because you may. And I want you to be excited because I'm excited. I can do one hour of service work a day and give that much to spirit in the world. And thank you guys for, for doing it too. And on Facebook, I have three days a week. Mondays we do chanting and calling down enlightenment. And Tuesday we'll be doing um, this Tuesday quantum leap event. And usually it's like Fukushima Tuesday. We talk about radiation and do energy work um, for Fukushima nuclear plants. Thursday we do um, energy work normally for the climate. This week, kids in concentration camps took precedence and took priority. There's just not time to do everything. So that's at 4 o'clock Hawaiian time, um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and let's see, it's 10 o'clock Eastern time. Although this Tuesday, it'll be 6 o'clock Eastern time, 5 o'clock. Central time, do, 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 do. three o'clock Pacific time. So get your group together, get your crystals, mark your calendars, and you can practice chanting. I am a being of violet. Oops, wrong chant. Well, you can do that too, the violet flame. May, may divine enlightenment descend on everyone now. May divine enlightenment awaken within everyone now. May divine enlightenment descend on the Democrats now. May divine enlightenment awaken within the Democrats now. May divine enlightenment descend on the Republicans. May divine enlightenment descend on the Nazis. May divine enlightenment descend on our kids. Divine enlightenment awaken within our kids. It's endless possibilities. And like I said, you know, I will again post the chance this weekend. You can pull it off my Facebook page and the UPR and radio, and you can do it along with me. So have a really nice weekend. Have a safe weekend. Have some fun. Enjoy the people that you are around. Appreciate them, because you don't know how long you're going to be around, or you know, and that means they may well travel and move. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you Tuesday, 5 o'clock. And then after that, it'll be back to Friday night. 
for the radio show, 12 o'clock midnight, 9 o'clock Pacific time, UPR and radio, the Quantum Leap, Let Light Unite show with Kathy Bilski. All right. Aloha. Good night.